Welcome to the Text Analytics Playground. To access the portal, you can go to the MIQ software website and click on Try It Now from the homepage carousel. You can also go to the Artificial Intelligence Expertise page, where Try It Now is available right beside the infographic. You will be taken to the login page. You need to provide consent. Once you do, you will be redirected to the application's Data Connect page. To begin generating insights, you need to provide input text. There are three ways you can do this. You can type in the white box with each individual text separated by the enter key. You can use the sample dataset option to understand the data flow and kinds of datasets that the portal provides. Or you can click upload and select the file you want analyzed. CSV and XLSX are the versions supported at this time. The portal uses an optimized and pre-trained ML model for events related data and comments. For any other type of data, the model will identify topics at runtime. This model is custom trained on your data, which will be disposed of once the topics are generated. To specify which type of dataset you are using, go to the Data Category dropdown available at the bottom and select the column for Events Data. For now, use the Sample Data option and select Events in the first dropdown. At this point, since you selected Events Data, you don't need to enter the number of topics. Our ML model takes care of that for you. To go to the Topic Modeling tab, click Generate Insights. Here, you can find insightful visualizations, charts, and grids you can play with. You will get to understand the keyword distribution in your text data, including the percentage likelihood of this distribution belonging to a parent topic. The Looking for Something Else section lets you edit the topics if the portal isn't giving you the information you were hoping for. Here, you can define the topics and keywords you want analyzed within your dataset. To add them to the analysis, click the Add button. You can also filter out additional topics you don't want to show up on your report with the Filter Topics section. Once you are done with the changes, you can update the report by clicking Rerun. This will show a pop-up asking for final confirmation. For the report to be modified accordingly, click OK. Now, let's see what else this portal has to offer. Go back to Data Connect, and this time, after selecting Sample Dataset, Select Other in the Type of Dataset dropdown. Enter the number of topics you expect in your dataset. This option usually depends on your understanding of your data and your insight needs. Usually, it takes more than one try to hit that input sweet spot. Once you are satisfied with the data, click Generate Insights and you will be redirected to the Topic Modeling tab. Now, the report will offer you the visualizations and insights you need to understand generic topics. This includes keyword clusters identified by the model. The aim is to help you understand your clusters better so you can label them appropriately. Here, the Looking for Something Else section gives you the option to rename topics based on your understanding of them. To rename your topics, go to the bottom of the report and click the Rename button. In the first box, enter the topic you want to rename. You can also select the topic name from the dropdown instead. In the next text box, Type in the updated name and click the Done checkmark. Once you confirm changes, the report will reflect your updates. The filtering option lets you filter reports for selected topics. To start with, the engine doesn't know anything about the data. But when you filter the portal for topics, the engine will have more information about your expectations from your data. It will use this information to do a better job at identifying topics. The model will be retrained at runtime for the remaining topics. To initiate, Click the cross icon on the topics you want to filter out, and click the rerun button. Once you confirm changes, the updates will be reflected in the report. Once you are done making changes and are happy with the state of the report, you can export the insights into a shareable format. To generate a PDF that you can share across your team, click download.